Alrighty guys, I am now in the shop. Um, let's get this thing in the air, man. We gotta check this suspension. That was awfully loud. Okay, now what I'm expecting to find, and guys, be careful with this because you actually may not find what I mean by find is uh feel. You may actually not feel you can have a bad bearing or you can have a bearing that has come apart internally and not feel it. Yes, you know, when you're checking bearings using a wheel, you want to go 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock maybe. Yeah, that's 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 bearing testing, things like that. And uh, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock is when you're checking suspension, like tie rods and things like that. But yeah, so don't be surprised uh, if you don't feel anything, but you still could have a bearing that's come apart. But I'm talking too much. We're going to go out here and check this right now. All right, let's get it. Alrighty guys, I have it up in the air. Now, I didn't feel a lot of looseness. This is a side I heard it on the test drive, but I didn't feel a lot of looseness in it. Like I say, guys, don't panic if you don't feel it super loose. It's still, it's still got internal problems. When you take the bearing off and spin it, yes, you're going to feel all kinds of grit and growling. So, And as you can see, my brake pad is extremely low, so I'm going to recommend brakes. All right, guys, let me write up these hood bearings. Uh, stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, guys, I want y'all to hear this hood bearing. Y'all hear that? That is what's making that roaring noise while you're driving, okay? Now, we're gonna fix that, okay? Uh, we have, that's a hub bearing. Here's a new hub bearing. Only problem, guys, it's not really a problem. It's press fit. So we have to go to the press machine and get this pressed in. All right, the goal is to get this old hub bearing out we're gonna try to reuse the the hub or the the uh, we're gonna try to use the hub assembly. Okay, if it's worn out, it's worn out. We're gonna need a new one. But for now, we got bearings. All right, let's go to the press machine, guys. Get this thing pressed out. Alrighty, guys. Here we go with this uh, hub and bearing assembly. I'm getting ready to install. Oh, that's rough. A new bearing. Okay, so in order to do that, because this is a press fit bearing. Uh, I have to press it out okay uh, so now let's prep this thing here's the one of the old ones I did on the other side so where do we start we set up the press machine now the goal behind this is first thing I got to do let's get this hub out of here okay all right so in order to do that I need to make this stable on the press machine enough to push down on this by pressing on this I will essentially push the hub out of the assembly, out of the knuckle assembly, okay? That's the first thing we got to do, guys. All right, so let's get with it. Alright guys, so in the middle of pressing this hub assembly out, got it out, but -da, guess what stayed attached, okay? Now, yes, the uh, bearing obviously came unattached and stayed onto the hub. Now, this is fairly easy to get off, guys. In fact, you would need a tool such as this, a uh, bearing splitter, okay? Simply install your bearing splitter. Uh, this is still set up from the last PT Cruise I did. Uh, Sometimes I can get lucky and get them pressed off without any kind of separation of the bearing. and Sometimes I can't. At any rate, it is fairly easy to do. So, that means no big deal, guys. Right? Right. Alright, so let's set this up. And we're going to get this pressed out of here. Some guys use a hammer, chisel. No need when you have the special tool, guys. So make your necessary adjustments to get it closed in as close as possible. All right, so let's get this set up. We're going to set this right here in preparation for pressing this out. 
So the thinking behind this, guys, here's a tool I'm going to use. Thinking behind this, go, I'm just going to press on this head using the press to force this sleeve to come off. All right. So looks like we set up. Uh, you should be centered, but I'm not centered, but I should be fine. Let's, let's start jacking. All right, I heard that first initial burst, guys. From there, it should be, y'all see it sliding out? Each time I, now it's gonna fall at the bottom, so be prepared to catch it or either have something under there to catch it, all right? All right, guys, so I have the old bearing out. They sit right here. Now, we're getting ready to prep to install the new bearing, okay? So just clean this out a little bit. Take a new bearing, clean it off. Now, the goal, guys, is thinking behind it. We got to set this on here, and we got to press install it. We got to be pressed back in. So what I'm going to use as a tool is the old bearing, okay? I'm nearly going to set that on top of here. It's the same diameter. And I'm going to press on that to drive the bearing into the knuckle assembly. All right. Uh, fairly simple, guys. Let's get to it. And you have a stopping point right here. And also, uh, our press machine don't have pressure reading. So you just got to base it off feel, guys, if your machine is like that. All right. Let's get it. All right, guys, I got the bearing pressed inside of the hub, as you saw. Okay, you saw how I had it set up. All right, so let's get that clean out. Now, it's time for the shield, the shield that was removed. Now, okay, it's time for your shield, guys. So let's put this on. Make sure you put this on right. There's an indention for when you have to replace studs. So, yeah, you want it to go in the right spot. They left that there, so in, just in case you have to hammer out some studs. So put it back in the same spot. And then we're getting ready to prep to install the hub. Okay, so let's get these bolts on. Now, the, the weird thing or the most important thing about installing the hub, you want to make sure it doesn't come out or the bearing don't split while you're installing the hub. All right, we'll talk about it in a second. All right, guys, let's talk real quick. In order to prevent this bearing from splitting, see that's two pieces. The bottom half tend to split, just like this came off. That would do that if you're pressing this in and there's nothing under it holding it. So to counter that, I have a tool I'm gonna use to set under the bottom of this, okay? So this will not split. It's gonna be sitting on the, on the surface. So as you're pressing down on the hub, you will not split the bearing, okay? So this is very important. If not, you will split the bearing in half. All right, let's get it, man.
All right, guys, I had to pause for a minute. I want y'all to, I want to explain something to you. Guys, the ease in which this go in is very important. If this slides or presses in extremely easy, you really should replace this, okay? Because that means it's just worn out, but there's quite a bit of resistance pressing this down, so it should be fine. All right, so, and again, the reason I have this is to prevent the bearing from splitting. Prevent the bottom half of the bearing from coming apart. Okay, so you need a tool to hold it up and catch it. All right, let's continue. And there you have it, guys. We have just pressed in a new hub bearing to this car. All right. A lot of the newer bearings are not pressed in. They are... Uh, in assembly they bolted to it okay but this particular year model is pressed in this should have no more growing noise nice tight and no grinding all right guys man that's all i have guys thanks for watching comment subscribe i'll see y'all in the next video